architecture solves problems. And I believe I love solving problems and the process behind it. So solving problems and being creative, architecture is just the best fit. I don't think it starts. <laughs> I don't think it starts. It's, I think it's always been in me. Uh, my mother always told us that all her children are different and everybody has that special thing in them. So for me, it was the creative part. I remember talking to, I think one of my aunts and telling her about how much I enjoyed the last segment of top billing, uh, the part where they showcase houses. And I'm like, I want to do that. And she's like, ah, that's yeah. architecture and interior design. And it was the first time the word came to me, but I knew I loved it. At the end of 2019, I think I was starting my second year. My tutor showed me their page as a reference point because we were struggling to execute an idea um, with the design and she showed me a specific project and I think I was automatically fascinated because it was the first time I saw something like that locally and it kind of reassured me that it's possible because somebody close by has done it. The culture here is I believe a very warm and receptive culture, more especially me coming in here as a student to learn in the real world or in the practical, in a practical sense. Um, they don't gatekeep with their information, they're willing to share and it makes the experience much better because I'm able to take what I learned here and go and put it into practice at school and of course going to, I'm going to use it in the future. So with me coming out here to Zimbabwe, it opened my mind to um, different kinds of architecture, different ways of approaching architecture, different processes and how to solve problems as compared to what I was used to back home. Um, the project that I enjoyed was the house renovation in Mount Pleasant because I got to see the process from the beginning. Uh, from the beginning, I mean from the tearing down of the walls, removing the doors, the windows, to the construction of new spaces, and also determining whether or not what was put into plan in the office actually works on site because what you do in the office, the design process in the office, is very different from what is on site. So you often need to be on your toes and be ready to pick mistakes, pick um, changes that need to be made and um, things that need to be fixed. My inspiration is deeply rooted in history. I am a history fanatic, down to the bone, and that drew me to vernacular architecture and the lessons you learn from it. And with vernacular architecture, you see everything that we do roots from it. Sustainability, your durability, long longevity, mm -hmm. as well as um, aesthetics. And for me, that is my base inspiration. I think that is also linked to my love for history and in my love for history I believe that I want to work in the world of preservation, preservation of culture, preservation of the architectural landscape that we have here, our cultural architectural landscape and honing it and becoming proud of it such that we are known for it and also it becomes a design export to the rest of the world.